Hi friends, this is Shiva. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how to implement multi-level inheritance in REST automation framework. So for that I am going to implement this structure. So basically there is an interface which is going to have abstract methods of Selenium. So for example if you want to uh, perform any click or drag and drop or send keys or handling multiple tables. So it requires some Selenium methods. I am going to create those methods as the abstract in the Selenium interface and those methods are going to implement it in the Selenium implementation class. So the Selenium in implementation class which is going to implement the Selenium interface and there is a test base as usual which is going to extend from the Selenium implementation and this test script and page object and utility those classes are going to extend from the test base. So I am going to create the same uh, uh, structure in the my uh, demo. So let me create uh, one project for this. So here I am going to give uh, Java project and here I am going to give the name as the demo. Right? So here I am going to give the name of demo and I am going to finish it off. Um, here I um, will create uh, one uh, package. Initially I will start with the Selenium. So I will give one name as the uh, Selenium class selenium package so that uh, I can create two uh, things one is class another one is interface I will start with the interface so that uh, I am going to give interface as the uh, selenium methods right. so uh, selenium methods as the class name and I will finish it off and here I am going to write those methods for example I need a public void click and which requires uh, web element so before we need to configure the selenium right click uh, properties add external jobs i have kept in selenium in driver folder just click and apply and close that will be uh, created and here web element i want to give element so when i'm going to click uh, any uh, any object in the page so i need the web element as the parameter so this is the actually this is the common method so we only need to uh, write this method each and every time for the each and every element so that's what i'm going to do and here uh, see i want to write one more method um, public void setup um, web web driver for web driver for testing Right, so this method will set up the web driver for uh, current context. So here I will write web driver, web driver. So this will uh, set up. So anyhow, I am going to write the code for it. So you come to know what I am going to do when I create uh, this method. Then I am going to write one more method: public void, void, open browser or open url and this requires one parameter that is string then url so now these three methods i am going to implement in the selenium implementation the class name is i am going to give a selenium implementation right so you can finish it off and this going to implements the and this is going to implement the um, selenium methods so selenium methods right so um, you can click this so that it will add all the abstract methods inside so here you can directly write that element of click right and the second thing is here for this i am going to declare one variable that is um, protected um, web driver driver so this should be this is the class variable or instance variable i want to make uh, this driver for the current context so what i want to do is this dot um, driver equal to driver so that now whatever the driver i am going to pass that uh, instance will be assigned to the the current uh, test script the, th the third thing is I want to configure right system dot set property so where I am going to have my driver and which browser I am going to use so here I am going to use 
chrome driver right so for that web driver dot chrome dot driver right so here you can give the uh, location where it is located so here i am having in the uh, this location you just copy and put it over here so here you can write the name so you just uh, click press f2 and you can copy and come here you can paste it dot axc okay so now uh, we need to create instance for the chrome driver so web driver equal to new chrome driver of so here you can write chrome driver of so now you can import the chrome driver for the this uh, class and now you can driver dot get so here you can um, give the url because this should be received from the test base and the test base will be uh, used for those purpose now if you want to maximize also you can do it from here so driver dot manage dot you know that code window dot maximize right so um, this will be maximized okay so the first process is over the second thing is i need to create a test base which is going to inherit from the selenium um, implementation right so here i am going to create one class new uh, the class the class name is test base right so test base which is going to extends right so um, extends selenium implementation right so now uh, import that class over here selenium implementation so here i am going to write one method public void launch application and this method um, is going to call the the selenium implementation method this open url so here um, i am going to call that method open url i am going to give the url of the web page so here i have that web page you can copy it i will share this link uh, in the comment you can use that so now this url opened now it will maximize also in that location so now i want to create one more package that is called page objects right so as of now i'm not going to do uh, anything with this page objects right so page object i'm going to create uh, one new class called um home page objects right finish it off and this class is going to extend the test base now all the classes is extends um test base so here you can uh, extend that class so as of now i'm not going to do with this anything i will create one more package right so here uh, i am going to give a test script here for example simply i will give test and i will create one class and here that is test scripts mm, i will write home page so class name should be singular home page test script okay so you can uh, create it so here uh, i want to use the uh, test ng so you can use at mm, before test before test and public void setup so now this method i am going to set up the um, you can add this library okay so now you can import the before test right so here i want to do two things one is i want to set up the driver for the so we have that method in here so first we need to call the set up the driver for the testing you just copy it you come here and paste it over here so here you can say driver so this is done now okay 
this is done now so second thing is so it should extends the test base okay. so now uh, we can uh, this is done now the second step is we need to open the URL right open URL not open URL launch the application right launch application now this will launch the application let me test for that we need to create one more method also at test right so here public void first test simply we can give first test no need to do it. no need to write anything inside because uh, just we are going to test whether it is working or not so um, you can this is uh, okay so uh, run as uh, test and get test okay so now this will launch yes it is launching and it should open the automation tactics dot com yes so as of now our structure is working and if you want to implement a page object model anyhow we have a page objects as a separate package if you want to know about uh, that page objects using test engine normal you can watch my previous video so that you can get to know about it and here what i'm going to do is uh, uh, in this page objects class i'm going to create one uh, on dash at before test sorry um at find by right at uh, find by i'm going to use uh, s part equal to and you can take s part from this element right i'm going to click this element and here title woman okay copy this and put it over here web element btn woman so here our context is how to implement multi-level inheritance so already we have implemented multiple inheritance along with the hierarchy also so the thing is that the structure so here what i want to do is um, we need to create one uh, constructor for this so to initial the web, initialize web elements so public uh, home page objects and this should receive the web driver so that that page handler will receive here so the driver will have the handle of that uh, launched application that should be um, there to initialize those elements so here uh, you can what you can do is there is a class called page factory dot uh, unit elements so you can write driver command if you want to know about what is uh, what what will do uh, while executing this line is um, it will initialize all the web elements whatever we have created over here so that it will be ready for doing the stuff so, right so public well, if you want to more you can watch my previous videos so i have explained clearly what is page object model using uh, page factory and normal page object model so public wide click and so s simply uh, validate click just i want to do that mm, validate click so here we already we have written the method click right so click of that web element is btn woman so btn btn woman mm, now that will be so no need i have not created any object for this implementation because already it is base class so from the test script i want to uh, call that method see for that what i want to do is i need to create uh, uh, the object for the home page test right so you can write home page um, page objects so that object name equal to null and you can create object here so page equal to new this one and you can objects so we need to send the parameter as the driver right so now here you can page dot click validation right validate click you can call that method right 
so now you can execute this program to see how uh, it works so so now this will launch the application and it will click the woman uh, button right that's what uh, our intention so this is not our intention so they have implemented multi level inheritance along with the selenium web driver and implementation with the page object model so so we have covered many object many concepts in this uh, demo um basically we have uh, created the same structure selenium interface implement selenium implementation then test base so the same thing we have created over here so i hope you like this video and share this video to others so that they will uh, get the benefit and uh, thanks for watching